Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. So, Leo, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. So, I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages for Leo. What is the energy? Messages for Leo. What's the energy? What messages do you have for Leo? What is the energy? Okay. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Dagger. Fears, worries, tense situations. Okay, Leo. So let's see more of what this is about for you. Give me an energy for scales. Why is scales here for Leo? What is the message? Purify. Purify your energy and aura. Why is dagger here? Why is dagger here? Oh, wow. I have transformation. Things are changing in your life, but it came out in the reverse. And then we have blackmail. Someone could be getting blackmail, but that also came out in the reverse. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what is the message. Why is Purify in scales here for Leo? Why is Purify in scales here for Leo? What's the energy? Why is Purify? Okay. So I have the Page of Cups. All right, give me another energy for purifying scales. Why is this here for Leo? What is the message? Okay, the five of wands. So Leo, there is somebody competing with you here, or this could be you. Take it as it resonates. The roles could be reversed. But there is somebody who's in competition with you. And for some of you, this is a friend who's competing with you. Give me an energy on the page of water. The seven of air. This friend is also a liar. They're very manipulative. Definitely do not trust this person. Give me an energy on page of water. The ace of pentacles. The ace of earth. This is somebody who um, is competing with you for some type of opportunity here. Give me an energy on the ace of pentacles. Somebody could also be lying about what they have as well. Like somebody could be pretending as if they're well off. You know, they have all of this material abundance, but they really don't. Somebody is putting on a front here. Somebody's putting on a show. Why is the Ace of Earth here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Ace of Earth here? What's the energy? The nine of I'm telling you, somebody's lying about um, money here. Somebody's lying about being financially stable, being independent. This person, um, they really don't have their life together. That's what I'm getting. Give me an energy on the seven of air. Why is the seven of swords here? What is the message? The ace of fire. Give me another energy. Be mindful also, there could be somebody lying to you about an opportunity. Like somebody could be saying, you know, they want to extend some type of offer to you, but it's a lie. Somebody could be pretty much <sighs> trying to persuade you, persuade you um, to collaborate with them, get into business with them. For some of you, commit. For some of you, this is a relationship, but... They're promising you something like if you go into business with me, if you get into this relationship with me, we're going to be abundant. We're going to be very successful here. I got the keys to the city. Nine plus the ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles. We're going to have abundance, generational wealth, but they're lying about it. Yeah, for some of you, this is about a relationship. I'm telling you, so this is the thing. Somebody's trying to sell themselves. Somebody's trying to really make you believe that they are stable, that they have their life together. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Somebody wants to build with you. They want this relationship and they're willing to lie to get you to commit to them. 
or to get you to partner with them. Because for some of you, this is business related. Yeah, somebody's pretty much selling you dreams. Somebody could also be gaslighting you, telling you what you want to hear. But they're making themselves sound good. And if this is a business opportunity, they're making this opportunity sound good. Um, they're trying to make it hard for you to pass this up or pass them up. Be mindful, Leo. Somebody is not who they <sighs> pretend to be. Give me an energy on the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Leo? What is the message? Somebody could also be trying to sell you like on being your counterpart here. You're meant to be when they're really not. I'm telling you, this person is putting it on thick. I'm just getting that energy. Like somebody's doing so much to convince you that they're the one, that they should be chosen or that you should work with them. Give me an energy on the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here for Leo? For some of you, I'm hearing that um, you may not be a Leo son, but you definitely have Leo highly aspected or this person does. The ten of swords. Listen, this person is trying to betray you. Somebody's competing with you, trying to win at all costs just to betray you. You're going to end up in the Ten of Swords behind this person. Give me an energy. For, somebody's um, a liar here. I'm hearing compulsive liar. Give me an energy on the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Leo? The Two of Air. Yeah, this person already made a decision to betray you. Whoever this energy is really does not like you. They really don't care for you like that. They're pretending. Give me an energy on the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, wow. Too many. Not the whole deck. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What is this? But hey, man, you know what? Somebody wants to get you caught up. Be mindful because I'm also getting, for some of you, this person wants to get you caught up into some type of legal situation. If you partner with this person, especially where this is business related, you may end up going to jail. Somebody's going to get you caught up into some type of illegal activity. So be mindful. And I'm telling you, somebody's lying. And if this person does have money, they don't get their money the right way. Give me the energy on the Ten of Swords. The Eight of Wands. I feel like for some of you, Spirit is going to be communicating to you. You're going to receive some type of download. I'm actually hearing drop a download. Um, or you may be getting something in your dream state. But there's some type of communication coming out about this person sabotaging you, trying to betray you. So pay attention. I feel like God's trying to tell you something. God is trying to really reveal to you this person's true colors. Somebody could have Pisces highly aspected. Why is the hangman here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the hangman here for Leo? What's the energy? The five of water. You know what? Something's going to lead to disappointment. If you don't listen, if you don't take heed, something's going to lead to you being disappointed. You crying over spilled milk. The would have, could have, should have. Yeah, spirit is trying to tell you about this person. I feel, I'm hearing warnings. I feel like there's a lot of red flags here, Leo, that you're not paying attention to. And you're going to end up being in the five of cups. Give me an energy on the eight of wands. And I'm also getting like... Stop listening to what other people say because whoever is trying to give you advice or kind of boost you up to accept this offer, be it love or business related, I'm hearing both for some of you. They're not for you either. Yeah, they're just telling you what you want to hear. It's kind of like you're surrounded by a bunch of enemies, a bunch of snakes, people who are not really for you. Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Leo? I'm hearing make a practical decision, you know, head over heart in this situation. Look at it for what it really is and definitely pay attention to the red flags. Look at this, the king of pentacles and the sun. For some of you, this person could know that you have money coming in. Some type of um, abundance coming towards you. Leo, this is your energy. Somebody knows that you're getting ready to level up. That's what this is. Or somebody sees you already in this King of Pentacles energy. But either way, somebody wants what you have. Somebody's just trying to use you here. 
But for some of you, this person has either received some type of communication or has become aware of the fact that you are well off or that you're about or that you are getting ready to come into some type of money, some type of inheritance. Be mindful, I'm telling you. Somebody doesn't have good intentions. Why is the Two of Swords here in the reverse? Why is the Two of Swords here in the reverse for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the Two of Swords here in the reverse for Leo? Wow, the Empress. Libra Taurus energy. For some of you, this is somebody trying to compete with your empress. So the reason why this person is doing all of this, trying to make um, himself or herself appear to be so stable, lying to you so that you can pick them. I'm hearing pick me. So for some of you, this is a pick me. It's so that you can block out your empress here. This person wants to win. Yeah, this person wants the key to your abundance. They know that you're well off. Give me an energy on the Two of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Two of Swords here in the reverse? What is the energy? I'm also getting for some of you, like this person is planning on getting pregnant by you or getting you pregnant to hold on to you. I'm hearing trap. So be mindful of, of that as well. Give me an energy. And you know what? When this person gets pregnant or gets you pregnant, that's when everything is going to be revealed. That's when this person is going to just let the mask fall. And you're going to find out this person is, instead of being like a nine of pentacles, they're really a five of pentacles. You're really going to find out this person don't have anything to offer. You're going to be bamboozled here. I'm telling you, four of earth, somebody trying to hold on to you. Yep. And for some of you, this person has made a decision to try to trap you with a the pregnancy. They don't want to let you go. It's all about finances. And they're coming off as if they're your equal, but they're really not. Somebody is literally a four of pentacles here. You know, somebody does things for gain. They like for people to take care of them, splurge on them. Give me an energy on the empress. Why is the empress here? What is the message? This person wants you to see them in the empress energy or want this person to see them. This could be somebody energetically tied to you. You have the three of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to build with you here. That's what this is. Somebody wants to build a life with you, Leo. Or you want to build a life with this person. But it's like somebody's putting on a facade. This person is really not your empress. Um, I feel like this is somebody who could be telling you all of these great ideas they have. All of these plans. You know, I have my own business. Like somebody's trying to lay it on thick to win you over. But I'm telling you, something is just a lie. And you're going to be extremely disappointed. If you do not listen to your intuition, if you do not pay attention to your dreams, spirit says to your dreams, a lot of things are being revealed to you about this person. And I'm also hearing people in your dream state. For some of you, this is a third party situation. So you have a choice to make. But whoever this five of wands is, is doing the most. And you know how you'll be able to tell which one is real. The Empress never competes. This is somebody who knows their worth. You know, they'll walk away of anything. This is somebody that will choose themselves. And this person's not going to try to sell you so much on what they have going on. They may tell you, you know, some of the things that they are into, you know, as far as, you know, their life, their career, any endeavors. But they're not going to try to lay it on so thick, you know. I'm, I'm getting like whoever this five of wands is, is almost like a salesman or saleswoman. It's like somebody's doing so much and the empress don't have to do that much. Yes, she will open up to you, but she's also going to let you see it for yourself. But this person, no. You're not really seeing anything with this person. It's just all gab. This person is all talk. And that's another thing, too, that's going to catch you up if you don't pay attention. You're not really seeing any fruit here. This person has no receipts. This person is just all talk. So you need to make sure you get receipts. You need to make sure you look into this person to make sure that his or her words are lining up with whatever they're telling you. Or with whatever they say they have. If they say they have a business, pull it up online. Pull it up on Sunbiz or, or whatever um, website you have where you can check for businesses. Like you, nonprofits, LCCs, whatever, you'll be able to pull it up and, and see whether or not this person is lying or telling you the truth. If they're starting a business, pay attention. You know, are they meeting with people? Like, make sure this person can back up what they're saying. Because an empress can back it up. 
That's why she don't have to compete because she can back it up. You can see it. <laughs> Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the energy? Three of Water. Yeah, this is a third party situation. I'm telling you, this third party doing the most trying to sell you. But if you don't get the receipts... If you don't make sure that what this person telling you is the truth, you're going to be in a five of cups disappointed. Because I'm telling you, first of all, a real empress ain't going to be doing all of that. They gonna they may tell you what they have going on, but they're going to let you sit back and observe for yourself. But this person, this is just giving me somebody all up in your face, just overdoing it. Somebody doing too much. And when people do too much, usually they have something to hide. So I'm telling you, if you don't fat check, you're going to end up being in your emotional feels. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be devastated. And you're going to let this real empress slip away. I'm hearing time pass by. For some of you, by the time you find out the truth, you may have a child with this person. Or just too much time may have already passed by by the time you see what it really is. <sighs> Give me an energy for Purify and Scales. Why is Purify and Scales here for Leo? What is the message? The chariot, yeah. This is somebody um, that wants you to move forward with them. Like, this is somebody with scales. This is giving me justice. Like, this person wants to have justice in his or her life. And they don't care how they have to do it. You know, they're trying to receive this justice um, through deceptive means. And I feel like Spirit is saying it's time for you to move on from this situation so that you can balance your life out. For some of you, this has already happened and this person has already created a lot of havoc. Somebody could have also lost a lot of money behind this person. I'm hearing finances. Um, but Spirit is saying move on from this person. Whether or not this, this has already occurred, it's time for you to move forward and balance out your own life. Because this is somebody that is either going to bring you down or has already brought you down. So you thought this person was your two of cups, but they're not. Or you thought this person was your friend, would make the best business partner, but they're not. Give me an energy for blackmail in the reverse. For some of you, this person could have also tried to blackmail you to stay with them. Why is blackmail here? The six of pentacles. Yeah, this person is not able to blackmail you any longer. For some of you, this person may have like tried to blackmail you for money. Like somebody wanted you to pay them off. Literally, I'm telling you, snakes in the grass. It was all about money. But this person is not able to do this anymore. And even if this person never was able to do it in the first place, they're not able to make threats. Whatever this person has been trying to do or say, that's done with. Six of Pentacles, the scales are being balanced out in your favor. Yeah, somebody going to have to give it up here. I feel like with transformation, this is somebody who wanted to be in your energy so that you could change their life with finances but no this person gonna still be left in the same pit they were already that they were already in give me an energy for transformation in the reverse why is transformation in the reverse here for leo what is the message why is transformation here in the reverse for leo what is the message this is somebody like yeah there's somebody who's stabbing you in your back. That's what this is. For some of you, this is a friend. For others of you, this is a lover. There's somebody who also try to get close to you, get your secrets, so that they can blackmail you with it. I'm telling you, I'm hearing pillow talk. This person is doing this intentionally. They want you to tell them all your business so they can use it against you, so they can blackmail you for money, so you can change their life. Look at this. I can't make it up. Five of F, five of swords. This person is a very jealous energy very competitive wants to win by any means necessary because they want you to transform their life instead of this person doing it themselves you know working on them getting their life together you know um trying to make better decisions become financially stable independent they want somebody else to lift them up they want someone else to to do the work for them this is somebody that wants everything easy they want you to transform their situation but i'm telling you whatever this person has been doing it's no longer working the scales have been balanced and i feel like somebody's in their feelings about this yeah 
this person was very smug. Somebody really thought this was going to work or that it was going to last, and it's not. So let's pull some final energy. Spirit, give me some final messages for Leo. Give me some final messages for Leo. What is the energy? What would you like for them to know? Final messages for Leo. Okay. You are good enough. Be bold and make the first move. So for some of you, you could have felt as if um, you didn't have much to offer. Listen. I feel like where you want to go towards this Empress energy, Spirit is saying, like, don't worry. You are good enough. All you have to do is be willing to take action. Somebody could have Virgo highly aspected. I'm also getting too with this, you are good enough. This Five of Swords energy, this person already knew. That's why this person had to lie and manipulate a situation to go into his or her favor. This person already knew they didn't have what it took to really be with you, to build with you. They, this person already knew that. But this person was bold enough to deceive you to get what they wanted anyway. Somebody didn't have the right intentions going into it. Somebody was just looking at you as a come up, Leo. Or you were just looking at this person as a come up. Give me a final energy. One more message for Leo. What is the energy? One more message for Leo. I have celebrate love. Your relationships are a divine blessing. Cherish your loved ones. Say I love you often. What stands out to me is um, your relationships are a divine blessing. That's one way you're going to know if somebody's for you or not. You're going to be blessed. That person is going to be a blessing to your life and not a curse. And for a lot of you, you've already experienced this. And whoever this five of swords energy is, five of wands, seven of swords energy is, this person was definitely a curse to you. Definitely. I feel like you had to go through this so you can know the difference when it comes to choosing people you want to be romantically tied to or be in business with or you know, have a friendship with, like you had to go through this to learn, you know, for yourself and really be able to see through people's true intentions and pay attention to the red flags and not let people bamboozle you and not let people, you know, play on your intelligence. Like I said, fact check, you know, make sure they can back their words up with action. Make sure they have receipts. So, Leo, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.